So today we are going to start this one, lesson 10. So here we will learn some possessive pronouns. Let me try to open the whiteboard and tell you a few things about the pronouns. If you remember, it will be good for you all. So previously we have studied about marfu nouns, mansub noun, and majroor noun. You tell me what is Any of you, what is Mansu, what is Mansu, what is Majuru? Mansu of Fata at the end. Mansu has Fata at the end. Mansu. Okay, Mansu has Fata at the end, correct. What is Mansu? Marfu Dama. Good. Majrur Kasra. Correct. Then we also studied about Mabni and Morab. Can anyone remind me what is Mabni? What is Morab? Sir, I was not in that class. Any excuse for not watching the recording? No, sir. Okay. The paper was asleep. Okay. Sir, I'm taking one too. Okay. Hafsar is one. Do you remember anything? What is Mabni and what is Morab? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Mabni, the harkat on the last alphabet doesn't change. And okay. Marab, the Arab changes according to the position of the word in the sentence. It can be marfu, mansub, or uh, majru. Correct. So Mabni never changes its ending, but more of changes its ending according to the sentence. Then you studied a few pronouns like who So we studied a few pronouns who he anta Anti Anu Home Okay, etc. Many such pronouns. So all these pronouns are Home mean they home mean they all these pronouns are marfu. If they are marfu, then question is what is their mansub and majroor form? So their mansub and majroor form is same like huwa mansub majroor form is hu he ya marfu mansub majroor form is ha anta is ka anti is ki hum is hum same thing so today we are going to study the mansub and majroor Forms of the pronouns. Miss Vidad, read this. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. 
Assalamu alaikum. Sorry, I was having a problem with the speaker. Wa alaikum assalam, no problem. Okay. So uh, the possessive pronouns, ka, hu, ha, and he, uh, kita buka. Here, your, uh, here, your, your is for muscular singular, sorry. Kita, his book. Kita buha, her book. Kita be my book. These pronouns are not full fledged words. They are suffixes attached to the nouns. So these pronouns are also known as possessive pronouns. We cannot use them separately. We must attach them to a noun. And these are the basically majroor or mansoor form of the pronoun as well. Next student, Ms. Hafsa. Yeah. As we have seen, your book is Kitabuka and his book is Kitabuhu. Word for father is Ab and for brother is Ak. Your brother is Akuka. Not, not Akuka. Oh, an extra. How has to be added between the mudaf and mudafilahi. In the same way, his father is not Abu, but Abu. Continue. Yes. Not the following. By two Muhammadin is uh, Muhammad Zaus, uh, but uh, Muhammad's father is. Abu Muhammadin and Muhammad's brother is Aku Muhammadin. My father and my brother have no extra vow. Uh, Abi Aki. The nouns which take this extra vow when they when they are moved off of four words. You have learned two, and you will learn two in future, inshallah. What did you learn in this point? Mm. Extra vow is add in between mudaf and mudafilahi when it's like your father, your brother. It is only for these two words, ab and ah. Okay. Ah. This rule is only for ab and ah not for other words so for other words when we they become mudaf we can directly add a pronoun to them but in case of these words these two words we must add vow between them when they become mudaf and there is an ex exception to this rule in which when we add the first person pronoun, we don't add any extra letter between mudaf and mudafili. So this rule is only for ab and ah, not for the other words. Mr. Jawad, next. Yes, sir. My father and my brother have extra words. No extra vow. Number Sir, three. From where read, uh, have you ever pen? Number three. Number three. Yes. We have already we have already learned that the word in the means with it is also used to convey the to have example. In the Kalamun, have you a pen? Literally, is there a pen? What did you learn in this point? Sir, we learned that in with uh, it is you, it is also meant, uh, it is also used to convey that, convey it like. Uh, yeah, no. 
So here we learn that I, word in the has two meaning. First meaning is with, and the second meaning is to have. To have. These are the two meanings of the word in the. Next, Miss. Sir, this is like means question. It depends. We are asking a question. It depends on the situation, not every time. Okay. Miss Poonam, read this. We have, uh, sorry. Uh, we have already learned the preposition lime, meaning belonging to. Preposition when it is attached Lee. to the print, sorry. Lee. Lee. Uh, we have already learned the preposition Lee, meaning belonging to. When it is attached to the pr pronouns, it takes the uh, la. Uh, luck uh, belonging to you, la lahu belonging to him, laha belonging to her, but li belonging to me has kasra. Need the next one as well. Ak ak uh, ak li akun. Li akun means I have a brother. Literally, a brother belongs to me. Li famun. I have a mouth. Literally, a mouth belongs to me. It is wrong to say in the ah, in the fam, because in the is used with things which are separable, and relations and parts of the body are not of this nature. What is the meaning of Lee? Uh, sir, it means uh, belongs to someone. Okay. So what is the meaning of Inda? Inda means with. Uh, with. It also means have. So basically Lee mean have and Inda also mean have. Okay. Yes. Yes. Then what is the difference between Lee and Inda? Uh, sir, in the will be used uh, for the things uh, which is separable. And for which thing you will use Lee? Uh, Lee will use uh, for relationships, for parts of body which we cannot separate from ourselves. Okay? okay. Like yeah. your children, like your husband, like your parents. So these are things which you cannot separate from yourself. So for those, you will use Li. And things which you can separate from yourself, like your mobile, your car, your house, for those you will use Inda. Okay. Uh, can we make it like uh, living thing and non-living thing? For mm -hmm. living thing, we will use uh, Li and non-living thing. I will say no. I don't think so. Okay. Maybe. Okay, next we have Miss Rizwana. Yes, sir. We have learned how he went. Now we, we now we learn Zahabta. You went. Masculine singular and Zahabtu. I did you go to school today? Uh, ah, Zahabta ilal madrasati al yom. Event naam Zahabtu. So, what is the meaning of Zahaba? Event Zahabta Zahabta. I went Zahabtu. I went Zahabta. You went. So in the previous point, she was saying uh, that human living and non-living things. I think in that case, no, still no. We can, the human beings which are separate from us, I believe we can use in the with them as well. But I need to think more about it. Okay, so next, Miss Vidat. Uh, 
we have learned that feminine pronoun pronouns have not an example. Mariamo amina tu. Likewise, masculine pronoun with tamar buta ending also have not an example. Hamza tu, Usama tu, Ma'awiya tu. What is the meaning of this? Uh, what did you learn? Uh, so uh, for uh, feminine, we have tamar buta. That, but we don't use the um, tamma ten like ten women. It just be more for one tamma. Uh, for ma masculine, uh, I guess f some of them finish with tamar buta like Hamza, Usama, and Maawiya. So we don't put tanwin as well. So now normally we use tanwin with masculine noun, but those masculine noun which have tamar right. buta, we cannot use tanwin with them. Right. Read the next one as well. Ma'a means with. To understand with the, the difference between ma'a and indi, remember that if the al madras al mudarrisu in in the mudir in the mudiri, the teacher who is the headmaster, that the teacher has gone to the headmaster's office and he's with him there. But al mudarrisu ma al mudiri have the restriction. He can be with the headmaster anywhere. Note that the noun after ma'a has e ending or kasra. So kasra, yeah. What is the meaning of ma'a? Ma'a means with. And in the? I'm sorry? What is the meaning of in the? Oh, in the, in the means um, to have, like I have, or um, with. Yes, so ma mean with. In the also mean with. Okay. 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 Sir, yeah. sir so this sentence is same. Al mudar is in the mudir and al mudar is in al mudir means that it the headmaster. Matlab it's my koi. We don't have any difference. We have a difference here. We are. So, Miss Vidat, can you tell me what is the difference between ma and in the? Um, now that I see them, I see something. I, I don't know. In the first sure. one, the teacher has gone to the headmaster's office. So if we say in the mudiri, this means we are at the place of, at the office of mudir. Okay. Oh, so kind of, yeah. But okay. If we say we are mal mudir, this means we, it can be any place. It can be his office, his house, maybe some restaurant, maybe some hotel, maybe some classroom, maybe some playground. It can be any location. But in the is only for the location of headmaster, which is, which is his office, which is his house, not other location. But ma can be used for any location. Miss Vidal, what is the difference between Inda and Ma? So Ma, it, yeah, with Ma could be he could be the Mudir. It could but be at in, any place, okay? Any, any place. location, yeah. Any location. Any place. But in uh would be I guess a specific place, uh, office head in this case it would be at the office. Mm. Let's suppose I say Hafsa. In the Vidad. What is the meaning of Hafsa in the Vidad? Um, with Vidad. Has gone to see Vidad. So basically this means Hafsa is at the house of Vidad. Vidad, okay. right. Okay. At the house of. Uh, it is at Hafsa is at the place which belongs to Vidad only. Nobody else. Okay. But if I say Hafsa okay. Ma Vidad. Then she could be anywhere with me. Yes, you both are together at some place, but yeah. it is not necessary that place belongs to you. The place can be anyone's house or anyone. Sir, means we can say that. Sir, means we can say in Ma, we cannot find the location. We cannot tell that this location. Basically, the, the location does not belong to that person. Okay. 
So if I say of some ma vidad, this means the location does not belong to vidad. But if I say hafsa in the vidad, this means the location belongs to vidad. She is the owner of that location. Okay, now. So here we learn this meaning of in the, and previously we have studied another meaning of in the. So you see, according to the situation, this word is changing its meaning as well. Miss Hafsa, number eight. Number eight. Uh, Bilja at the university. B is a preposition meaning at or in, not that Aljamiatul -jam, al Islamia, Bil Madrasatil Munawara. Bil Madina Til Munawara. Sorry, sorry. Bir Madinatil Munawara means Islamic University at Madina Munawara. What is the meaning of B? At or in. Read the next one as well. In lesson one, we, we have learned that Ma means what? This word also used as a negative practice negative particle so ma in the ma in the yara means i don't have a car what is the meaning of ma uh ma means and it means also negative like ma I has two meaning. first meaning is what mm -hmm. and second meaning is don't or not Read this, uh, Mr. Jawad. Read this vocabulary. Yes, sir. As Samilu, colleague, classmate. As Dauju, a child. Al Fata, young man. Wahid, one. <clears throat> Under Sulashe, 10th lesson, Miss Krima and Miss Rizwana. Yes, sir. Darshu Asher, Hamid, Man Anta, who are you? Muhammad, Ana Talibu, Bil Jamia. I am a student in the university. Anta Talibu Jadidun? Are you a new student? Naam, ana talibun jadidun. Yes, I am a new student. Min aina anta. From where are you? Ana min al Hind. I am from. Ma ismuka. What is your name? Masmuka. Ismi Muhammad. Uh, masmuka. Masmuka. What is your name? Ismi Muhammad. My name is Muhammad. Woman has al fata alazi maata. And this uh, boy or lad with you. Woman has al fatal lazi. Fatal lazi. Woman. Woman has al fatal lazi. Fatal lazi maata. And who is this young boy with? Who was Amili? He is my classmate. Ahua Aidan Minal Hin, is he from India? La Hua Minal Yaban. No, he is from Japan. Ma is what is his name? Masmoho, Mas sorry. Masmoho. Masmoho, what is his name? Ismuhu Hamza. Is Hamza. Ma Lugatuka ya Muhammad. What is your language, Muhammad? Oh, Muhammad? Lugati Urdu Urdia. Lugati. My language is Urdu. Lugatil Urdi. Urdia. Urdu. Uh, Ahia Lugatun Sahla. 
Achpia Lugatun is it an easy language? Next, Miss Poonam and Miss Yes, uh, Nam uh, Mohammed Nam uh, Hai Luga Sahia Hiya Lugatun Sahala Hiya Luga Sahi Sahilata Sahala Sahala uh, wow. Yes, this language. Uh, her, uh, this language is easy. Yes, it is an easy language. Yes, it is an easy language. Wahamza ma lukatuhu, and what is Hamza's language? Lugatuhu, lugatuha. Lugatuhul. Ya bani. Lugatu uh, ya baniya ya bani tu ya bani tu uh, wahia lugatun uh, sai saibatun saaba sa saaba yes saaba mm. lugatu his language his language is uh, Japanese mm, and it's uh, it's easy language. It is a difficult language. It's difficult language. Aina Abu Kaya Muhammad. Where is your father? Muhammad or Muhammad? Abui Abui Fi Abui Fil Abi. My father is in uh, Kuwait. Uh, it's Shahir. He is a famous student. Doctor. Doctor. Sorry, he uh, he's a doctor. He's a famous doctor. He's a famous doctor. Waina Ummaki Ummuka. And where's your mother? Yeah, uh Aidan. Yeah, I then fill uh with Ma uh Abi. Hiya Mudarissa Naka. She is Adafi. Sir, what is it? He is also in Kuwait with father. My father. With uh, my father. Uh, my father. And uh, she is a uh, teacher uh, there. Adahafta in al Kuwait, ya Muhammad. Did you went to Muhammad? Nam, Dahabu. Yes, went. Dahabtu, I went. Dahabtu, I went. Was a me look at Abu. And where is your classmate? Where is the father of your classmate? Sorry, uh, what, where is and your you your friend's father, his father, classmate. Um, it means my where is colleague? And yes. your colleague, where is his father? Okay. Abuha Yaban. Abuhu. Uh, huwa. Abuha Phil Yaban. Abuho Phil Yaban. Who are Tajir? Who are Tajir Kabir? Uh, 
في يا بار ماي فادر از ان هيز فادر his father is in japan and he it, he is uh, a big uh, merchant businessman okay alaka akhoni ya okay alaka akhoni ya mohammed oh another one okay okay miss uh, mr jawad and miss karima yes sir alaka akhoni ya mohammed Where is your brother, Ya Muhammad? Do you have a brother, O Muhammad? Do you have a brother, O Muhammad? Naam, li akhun wahid, ismuhu Usama. Yes, I have one akhun, I have a brother, wahid one. I have one brother and his name is Usama. Wa ma'i. Huna fi Madina til Munawara, and he is with me right here in Madina. Munawara resplendent, the shining city. Illuminated city. Well, no. Okay. The shining city. Munawara. Just in Madina til Munawara. Keep it same. Ah, okay. Madina til Munawara. Wali Uhtun Wahidatun ism Zainab, and I have one, and with me there is a sister. One sister, her name is Zainab. We're here in Iraq, and she is Ma'azawjiha with her husband, Zawjuha Muhandis. Her husband is a merchant. Engineer. Hamid. Ah, sorry. Her husband is an engineer. Aindaka Sayyaki. Does your brother have a Cycle. Do you have a car, O oh, my brother? Do you have a in the Kasayara? The Yaki, do you have a car? Yab, O oh, my brother. La, ma in the Sayara. No, I do, I do not possess a car. The Raja, I have a bicycle. Uh, Hamza to in the Hu Sayara. Hamza, he has a car. Okay, we will stop here, inshallah, and we will meet after the Eid on the days. If anybody has any questions, you can ask me. Sir, when we will have off. next class? Uh, kindly check the dates in the group. I have sent the message in the group. Sir, 14 is Thursday. So, it depends on the date. So, this means your class will be probably then, around then we have on day. Day. Okay. On Monday. Yes, on Monday. Allah. Inshallah. Uh, um, I was just doing, I was finishing my homework. I just have doubts on the, uh, like uh, uh, when it is mentioned homework number, homework six, uh, there is mentioned page number and uh, the lessons. Yes. Page number is uh, written here. So for example, this is, do you see what is written here? Yes, sir. I can try. This is uh, 24. 46. 4 and 6. 46. How we, how, how we will read the numbers from uh, right to left or left to right? Uh, left to right. 46. So this is 4. This is 6. 46. Okay. So in Al Arabia, we have to do till homework number. Yes, you do. Lessons are uh, the numbers are mentioned in the homework in Google Classroom. Okay, so you better okay, okay. take a look at there. Okay, sir. I also have one doubt regarding the book names. A screenshot uh, from my laptop, then I will ask. Okay. Anybody, any question? Okay, see you all next time, inshallah. Ma salama. So these are the two names. This is the first class, Durusulubat al Arabiya. This is the first class, Al Arabiya to Baina Yadik. And this is the second class, Durusulubat al Arabiya. Okay, these are the two names, Al Arabiya to Baina Yadik and Durusulubat al Arabiya.
see you all next time. Ma salama. Ma salama. Ma salama.